Hey folks, Kayak DIY here with another tutorial on the Bixby inflatable fin plate adapter. This here is a mounting system to be able to allow you to attach Bixby to the bottom of inflatables. So some inflatables already have this plate attached, but if your inflatable doesn't, kind of like my body glove paddle board that you see here, it has fins on the bottom of the board, but those fins aren't removable. So that's no good for us installing the Bixby motor kit. So we attached our own fin plate that you see right here to the bottom of the board. This fin plate is offered by Bixby and I'll have a link in the video description below. You can actually buy the whole entire motor, battery, and fin plate as a kit from Bixby. I'll have some of these options linked below for easy finding. Here we have the standard attachment. We have four little bolts holding this little fin adapter plate on top. There's basically two types of fin plates. Uh, there's a US and there's a European style. Um, but basically they slide right in or lock right in. Here we have a little pin. It locks the motor mount in place. It is a very slick design, very lightweight set up the board and the motor kit weigh a total of 32 pounds. So there you have the blue uh, cable that comes off the motor and here we have the battery. We set the battery on the top deck of the board, plug it in. I like to coat the plugs with dielectric grease. Uh, it just helps prevent saltwater corrosion because I'm primarily on saltwater. Uh, but for the most part, there's a pretty tight connection there and I haven't noticed much water intrusion. Here we have the lanyard. It's what turns the battery on. Here we have the wrist remote, which controls our speeds. We have 10 speeds forward, 3 speeds reverse, and a stop button. If you lose the remote, you can tap the battery four times with the lanyard to have 50% forward speed during emergency situations. That way, if you lose the remote, you're not stuck out on the water. Here's how we go about installing. So to install the fin plate, I ended up getting two syringes. They just are 10 ml syringes, and that lets me measure the adhesive, which is two-part stay bond adhesive. That came highly recommended in the industry, so that's what I decided to use, and I'll have that linked in the video description as well. Here is the fin plate offered by Bixby, and we have our board. Okay, step one, we're going to very carefully mark the placement of where the fin plate's going to stick onto our craft. You don't want it to be crooked or anything because otherwise when you turn the motor on, it's going to turn the craft. This here is optional, but I recommend sanding the surfaces just lightly. That way you get a nice good bond. I just removed a little bit of the shininess of the material, but you don't want to go down to the threads. Step three, we're mixing a two-part adhesive. We chose stay bond adhesive because it came highly recommended in the industry for this type of work. And we are drawing up 10 mLs of the glue and we'll be using one mL of the accelerator because this is a 10 to one ratio. So you could use 100 mLs of glue and 10 mLs of accelerator. That's just another option if you were going to mix a larger batch. Everything is 10 to 1 ratio. So right now, we are stirring up the adhesive that we just made. It's 11 mLs total. We are applying a thin first coat to the fin plate and to the board. We're going to wait 10 to 30 minutes for this to dry. Now, Stabon does reference a knuckle test where you can use your glove and the knuckle on your glove and feel for an adherence. I'll have all those written instructions linked in the video description. Step five, we mix a second batch of adhesive. You could do one large batch right from the beginning and then put a lid on in between, but we chose to do two batches of adhesive. Step six, we're applying a second thin coat to the plate and to the board but we do not want to allow it to completely dry. This time we're only waiting five to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna put the fin plate onto the board and we're gonna end up slowly but surely working out any bubbles from underneath the surface. 
This was pretty easy to do. I actually thought it would be a little bit more difficult, but not at all. It was actually quite easy and I didn't have to fight uh, many bubbles at all. So I just slowly worked my way around, working my fingers from the center to the outside, and that looks pretty good. There I had a little bit of adhesive sticking over the outside, but it actually cleaned up afterwards. So now we wait 24 hours for the adhesive to completely cure, and then we get it out on the water and see what this thing can do. Wow, look at this. take. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, boy. What do we got? Ah, oh, you stinky, stinky little bugger. No. That is not what I wanted. Ugh. Yuck. Well, it is a fish. Now I can say I went out catching and not fishing. But this thing is, this thing is miserable. You have to watch out for the spines on these buggers. This is definitely not what ran with the first one. Something's playing with it. Come on. Ah. Oh. Wow, really?